Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Wix forms. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So may, you might be wondering, how do you start using Wix forms here? Well, in this case, for us to start using Wix for, oh, forms, we first have to create our website. In this case, let's go ahead and go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and let's go ahead and click on the Create New Site button at the top right of your screen. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate options here. So I want to set this up without AI. And from here, you need to choose what type of website you want to actually build. But in this case, I'm going to skip this section here, but you could choose whatever you want here. So in this case, it's going to start preparing our dashboard. Now, on the dashboard section, what you need to do is you need to enter the name of your site. So basically, fill out all the entire details. So maybe I want to say it is going to be a sample website. And I want to add my name here. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And from here, we want to actually uh, indicate our site code. So maybe I want to say I want to promote my business here. Click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask us what are the Wix apps that we want to add. In this case, since we want to add Wix forms, we want to click on forms here and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say set up your site here, stop, start with template or get a custom built site. So I want to go ahead and click on start with template here and it should redirect me to this section here. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to choose our appropriate ones here. So maybe I want to use a basic one here. So maybe I want to use this one. So let's go ahead and click on the edit option here and it should apply that template into our website. Now, once it's actually uh. Uh, applied into our website or once the template is applied what we need to do next is we need to start adding our details or our form in this case it's going to say let ai write your site content so i want to exit this one so for now let's just click on the uh, site here so in this case let's go to the left side here so let's go ahead and maybe i want to click on add elements here so in the add elements there's going to be a few things that you give you here like for example text images button strip but the most important section here is going to be the contact and form section now as you can see there's going to be a default forms that you could use that like contact us get in touch contact information and a lot more which is something really cool if you want to easily apply it into your website so in this case, we want to choose our form here. So in this case, I want to use this for a first a form here. So just to give you an example, let's go ahead and drag it into our Wix uh, editor here. So in this case, as you can see, by default, it has the first last name, uh, email, and write a message option here, and the submit button as well. Now, the great thing about Wix forms here is the actual form is actually pre-configured. So you don't have to do much here. Uh, but if you want to change a few things like adding new fields, uh, adding anti-spam, you could actually do that as well. So in this case, let's go and click on the form itself. And we want to first go to form settings. Now, form settings, you should be able to uh, go to uh, the main section here, which in this case, you should be able to see the view submission table. See, though, so the submission table, it actually contains all the submissions that actually arrive or people actually fill out whenever they visit your website. So, for example, if someone submitted a form, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now, you should be able to see the submission time, the first name, last name, email, and write a message section of that specific uh, form. Now, if you want to also add uh, uh, fields on it you can just click on manage fields here and you should be able to add like ids create detail upload date owner and a lot more now in this case if you want to change the view for it you can just click on new view here and basically uh change it to another one so for example i want to say a view two i'm just press on enter and from here you should be able to uh basically add or basically uh, add a, a new view for your uh form submission for contact us here so in this case, you want to click on delete. So let's just go back to our previous uh, section here. So also you have the option to import items or export to CSV if you want to as well. So in this case, let's go exit this one. Now from here, when we, once we go to our uh, settings here, you should be able to uh, change a few things. Like for example, what is the name of this form? Like for example, if you want to name this to uh, contact us only, you could go ahead and do that as well. But I'm going to retain this as contact us too. But if you want to, so um, maybe I want to add a uh, contact as, and from here, we want to add it. Now from here, you also have the email notifications option here. So if you want to add notifications, whenever someone submits your form here, you should be able to add that. 
So you also have the submission table if you want to view it. So form submissions limit. So if you uh, want a submit uh, set a limit for the uh, deadline or submission limit, you can add those. So also have the auto form info here. So which info is filled automatically if you want to. I also have the subscriber double opt in. So send subscribers verification emails if they really want to uh, be a subscriber for your uh, account or your form here. Also have the submit message option here. So whenever visit, uh, a visitor submits a form, you should be able to show specific messages. Like for example, show success message. Like for example, thanks for submitting. So set time or always here. Also have the payments here. If you want to receive payments via this form here, you have conditions. If you want to add rules, like for example, based on visitors' answers. So we also have the contacts here. Save submissions to contacts if you want to. You have automations, so save time with automations if you want to uh, basically automate some of the processes you have. You have email marketing and even support here if you want to. Now, if you want to add a new field here, you should be able to click on add new field. And from here, you should be able to add a key captcha, email, phone, multi-line address, add, uh, birthday, company, position, terms, checkbox here. So, for example, I want to add a section for phone. So, let's go click on phone here. As you can see, phone will now be automatically added. Now in this case, whenever I click on phone, as, as you can see, I can even move it around within the form itself. So let's go back into the add new field section. And you can change this to basic fields or advanced fields if you want to. So some of the fields here can, uh, can be used, but you need to have the business premium for you to start using it. Now also have anti-spam here, which in this case, you should be able to add reCAPTCHA if you want to as well. So in this case, let's go and exit this one. Now, if you want to add, like, for example, edit your elements, you should be, you should be able to go to uh, elements here. If you want to uh, change the layout itself, so for example, if you want to add title padding here, as you can see right now, even change the alignment if you want to center uh, most of the text, I'll make it on the specific uh, side here. Have the placeholder padding as well, and the cut uh, layout call option here which is one column or two columns or you have the space between rows so you have those customizations you also have the sign here if you want to change the color of the overall look of your form so maybe if you want to make it in this black and white format use the orange uh, format here you go go ahead and do that as well uh, in this case i want to or maybe choose change a few things here as well so i want to uh, maybe go to the sign here if you want to further customize your design you can change the input uh, fields here the submit buttons if you want to change the overall look for it you can even change the form background itself if you want to like corners if you want to uh, maybe add pixels right for example i want to add 10 pixels on it so in this case you have the radius for it so as you can see it's going to be automatically uh added for us now in this case uh you could go ahead and go back in here and once we actually click on this one you also have the option to add animations if you want to like bounce in whenever it actually pops up and uh yeah so the thing here with uh, fixed forms is you can also customize the elements that is within inside like for example if you want to edit your field uh, field here just click on it click on edit field and you could change the type text type here you can make it password number email url phone number but i want to keep this to text and you also have the field uh title here so if you want to change this to, uh, to another uh, field title you can go ahead and do that as well oh, you also have the show initial text so by default it has none but if you want to add placeholders on it you can go ahead and do that so for example i'm going to add test and it should uh, show you test in here but i'm going to choose not here we also have the field uh, type here if you want to make it required or read only if you want to we also have the set character limit so it, by default it's going to be 100 but if you want to remove that you could go ahead and just disable this one I also have the error uh, message format here you have tooltip or inline so by default it's going to be tooltip but if you want to change the inline you can go ahead and do that as well now in this case once you've actually um edited all the things that you want to edit here let's go ahead and click on publish at the top right here to see how it's how it's going to actually look like click on done and from here we want to click on the cancel option now from here let's go ahead and view our site and from here, once you view a site here, what we need to do is we need to fill out the details. So just to give you an example, I'm going to enter my details here and I want to uh, maybe add my uh, sample, a sample email here. This is just a sample that we'll be uh, using. I'll just uh, click on something, I have the right message here. So I'm going to add test phone number. I'm going to leave this at is and click on submit. Now it's going to uh, submit that and it's going to say thanks for submitting. 
Now, once we actually go back into our Wix editor here, click on the form itself, go to a form settings and go to the main section, click on view submission table. You should be able to see the submissions table here, which also includes the details that we just recently added on the website itself. As you can see, this is how we capture them. We also have the phone section here, newly added since we added a new uh, uh, section here, which is phone. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.